<coughs> Excuse me. Hello, Warriors. Welcome to Keon Plays. Sammy Rai Love Ballot Party. Masa Mooney Act 2, the ending of it. Let's continue. Lord Masamune, I'm sorry. Wait. <clears throat> Lord Masamune, I'm sorry I said such horrible things to you. Lord Masamune's eyes widen in surprise. However, he immediately takes Jinpachi into a gentle hug. You don't have to apologize to me. Lord Masamune. It was hard to lose her. Yeah. You've done well. Jinpachi little hands grasp at, at the fabric of Lord Masamune's clothes at the shoulders. The tension that had been between them shatters in an instant. I'm so happy for the both of them. Lord Masamune. Nodding, he takes a wooden battle lord out from where he has kept it against his chest. The very same battle door before. I want a little battle lord. It's almost New Year's, anyways. That's so mean. I want one too. I was first. Alright. Next time we're here, I'll bring one of both for you. Yay! Don't forget, it's a promise now. I won't. Just wait a little while. Lord Masamune had made a set of battle doors himself for the two of them. Sorry, it took me so long to give them to you. Oh wow, a battle- Oh wow, a battle door! I, I keep saying it wrong, but yeah. Jipachi takes it carefully, cradling it against his chest with a little blush. Thanks. I want to sh go show Fuma too. Show Fuma, but she's... Can... Can I go? I mean, sure. Go on. Jampachi runs off carrying the battle doors with him. We rush to catch up. That's so cute. But how is, she, he, is he gonna show Fuma? She's not there. <sighs> Waiting for it to load. Fuma, look! It's our battle door. Lord Masamuni brought them for us. Near the mountain road, there stands a plum tree. Just above it, overlooking the village, is quite is a quiet place where Fuma sleeps. Lord Masamuni and I press our hands together, even if, unlike Jinpachi, we do not have to handle of the battle door between them. I'm sorry, I was unable to protect you. As soon as Lord Masamune apologizes, a breeze as gentle as a whisper blows past us. It stirs the blossoms on the plum tree and early bloomer sending their delicate scent into the air around us. 
Oh, Foom, I really love the plum trees blossom the most, you know? I wonder if this means she's happy. Yeah. I'm sure Fuma is watching over us. My heart still aches to know, I mean, think of how her short life was stolen from her so needlessly. However, when I see Jinpachi standing strong despite what he has endured, I know I know we too must keep looking ahead. I'll be back soon, okay, Fuma? Leaving one of the battle doors at the grave, Jinpachi gets up and turns to face us. Let's go home. As he smiles, he takes one of our hands in each of his, letting Lord Masamune tussle his hair. He looks so carefree that our words Stop it. He looks so carefree that our worries too just seem to carry themselves on the breeze. Okay, with that interruption, um, the stupid dog barking and stuff, I'm sorry, I apologize. Let's continue. The next day, I continue my daily Kyoto lessons with Lady Yoshihan. Wait, are we recording? Yeah, we are. Okay. Damn. We do not have time for your curses before the wedding, you know. Lady Yoshihan's disdain comes down mercifully as soon as I miss a note. I know, I'm sorry. Again, from the beginning. Her manner is certainly harsh, but she is a good teacher, and I am grateful that her stubbornness keeps her from giving up on me. Soon enough, the day lessons are over. Thank you, lady. If you would excuse me in a moment, when I turn to leave the room, she stops me. Yeah, I think I'm going to cut this episode short. Yeah, I'm going to cut this episode short. So, um, stay up to care. Until next time, can you please? Samurai Love Bow Party because there's a lot of rocket going on and noises. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end it. Bye.